welcome to a uh, playthrough, another Let's Play of Terraria. And by another, I mean there are plenty out there, and you didn't need me to help you with that. Not Namuj. My name is Namu. No! Crimson! Are you kidding? Um, I just recorded a whole bunch of audio of me playing and realized I didn't record any of the videos, so I destroyed that world, deleted all the items that I'd collected. I think I deleted all the money, but in case I didn't, I'll delete them again. It's only fair. Um, the reason why I'm doing this Let's Play is because I wanted to practice doing Let's Plays, because I've not done that before. So if you're with me still, thank you for sticking it out with a newbie recorder. And, oh my gosh. There's- I have a lot of dread when it comes to that crimson. Just so much dread. I don't want to do it. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to be playing it in expert mode, as you've noticed. And I'm going to play a medium-sized <laughs> crimson world. My character is softcore. Wait, oh, did I spawn <laughs> in a place that maybe <laughs> destroy dirt? Uh, oh, okay. I did switch the sorted pickaxe around. This is the same layout that I would use in Minecraft. It's pickaxe in slot number one, and an axe in slot number three. Oh no. Did you have to make him mad? Asher? I like Asher. Uh, I shouldn't get too attached to Asher. If you play Terraria, then you know why. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this Let's Play is not just to practice commentating, but also because I, I find it's a really good way of meeting other people who like Terraria a lot. Or any fandom, I suppose, if you're doing a Let's Play, then anybody commentating probably is interested in the same game. And I would probably stop doing a Let's Play if anybody played this game with me. Uh, it's all good and well to play with people online that you meet, but I find that the connection is always laggy. I don't have the best of gaming computers, and uh, so it just tends to lag out. I don't know why I've never attempted- ooh, we've got lead in this world. No, not lead. Yes, lead. That's this over here. Uh, I am- I have a tendency to ramble, and I just talk my friend's ears off because I'm just a very terrible person. But, uh, whatever. It's gonna work out, hopefully, maybe in this- not that you need me to ramble on about nothing. Just that I am good at talking. Oh, that's probably not a great- I'm not proud of that. <laughs> um, gosh, I really like the giant trees. I think I shouldn't cut them down. I don't think I've ever seen them grow back to be tall. I always end up short. So I'll leave the giant trees. I'm gonna try not to swear in this playthrough. I Terraria can be very frustrating for me because I'm not particularly great at gaming. However, I do prefer... I would want to create um, kid-friendly content because I like kids. I work with them. And it sucks when they're not allowed to be... Oh, when they're not allowed to like watch something because it's inappropriate. And it's totally unnecessary. It's not necessary for me to swear. Not at all. Um, I think I'm good at not doing that. If I do swear, I'll edit it out. You won't even know. I mean, you might see a jump in the video. <laughs> or maybe <laughs> if I'm in a if I'm in a particularly frustrating fight, which is usually uh, goblin fights, by the way. I'm pretty bad at those. Uh, then maybe I'll just do a montage <laughs> of me dying. Uh, because that's probably a time where I will be frustrated to tears. Uh, if it seems funny, I'll leave it in. But if it's... bad, <laughs> then I'll just fast forward through it and you can just hopefully appreciate how many times I've died. Um, so I have spent around, I think, over 800 hours playing this game. Um, but I started playing it in 2013 before there were achievements or anything. Oh no! I haven't killed any slimes? Oh, I have. Um, there were no achievements when I started, so it like feels. If you look at my profile, I've got so many hours logged in, and yet nothing to show for it. I'm only like sixty percent of the way done the game. That's frustrating. Um, I have beaten uh, the mechanical bosses before, and I've beaten Plantera before, but it was all in earlier versions of the game. 
So some of this might seem a little bit new to me. I definitely have played it um, since... Ooh, what is this? Um, that's hard to read. Allows the collection of binder up from vines. That's pretty handy. Uh, I like to use ropes a lot. Uh, I'm sure that's not even just a preference thing. It's pretty good to have ropes. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. If I... If I forget what I'm talking about and you need to know some information, feel free to leave a comment and tell me. Uh, I've been trying to be expressive about my wants to communicate with other people who play this game. So if you're interested in talking to me about Terraria, that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm creating this. Along with just in general being wanting to commentate. Uh, I'm oh god! Evil. Um, probably every time I encounter a monster that I start struggling with skill, I'm gonna end up becoming a little bit more silent. I'm not particularly good at focusing on two things at once yet. With another reason- Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm being killed by a slime! How humiliating. It's fine. It's fine. I'm sure I'm fine. Not 100% sure. Uh, if you've played Minecraft or Terraria before, then you know that it's pretty beneficial to collect wood early on in the game. It's used in a lot of crafting, and it's used to make torches. And if you've played either of these kinds of games, if you've played any kinds of games before, then you know that once nighttime shows up, it's much better to have torches. Ooh, a squirrel. I'm sorry, I'm not particularly fond of rodents. I would never kill them in real life, though. <laughs> Just to be clear. Am I gonna keep on sucking at this? No, is that what's gonna happen? I don't have healing sickness. Still. Oh, I do. Now I have four seconds. You can see it in the top left of your screen, below the inventory and stuff. Um, so I can heal again now. Mushrooms will heal you. I can try and be helpful and stuff, but I can't imagine that I'd be more helpful to you than just playing the game and talking to the guide. Ta if you're trying to get the hang of the game, I highly advise you talk to the guide. He gives rather cryptic hints sometimes at how to beat the game, but uh, what he's useful for is, let's say, I don't know how to craft anything. I already do know how to craft things. But if I didn't know, like, what can I use an acorn for? It's nothing. It won't accept that. What can I use wood for? You put it there, and he'll tell you all the different things that you can use it for. You click this button here, and you can just see everything. Um, if you... Look, you can also see what ingredients are needed for it. And if you don't hover your mouse over it, you can see that you need an anvil to craft this particular item that I'm looking at. It does take some getting used to, I would say, especially if you've played Minecraft before, because suddenly you're comparing it to this other game that has very similar mechanics and controls, but it's just different enough to completely throw you off. Oh, oh I really wanted to kill it. I'm sorry. I'm... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm really mean. I'm bad. Um, so... Nighttime is not a great time to be out when you're just starting play. Because the, um, there are a lot of monsters that come out at night and it's not particularly safe. Uh, and I don't want my guide, Asher, to die. They come back, but if you lose an NPC, they come back the next day, assuming it's... N I think it has to be not raining could be wrong about that um, and they'll just have a different name but oh, that's a really bad pickaxe um, but I actually do get sad when my NPCs die and I wrote a whole story about that um, okay. I'm gonna lay down the floor hello little worm aren't you so pleasant and in my freaking way okay. particularly enjoy wood floor. But it will do for now. Hey, Asher. 
Oh, you know, I really should be building in the sky. Isn't that better? Wouldn't that be better? Because <laughs> it's way bigger than what I have the materials to build. But, uh, I don't care. I care a little bit. Are mad. Ow. Uh-oh. What is it? Asher, your aim. It's incredible, man. Oh, ow. <laughs> Jeez. I guess I deserve that. Um, the reason why I built this two blocks off the ground is because if I put a door there, zombies won't be able to break it down. Um, NPCs can still go in and out of it easily. So can I. There's no need to put furniture right by the door so, so that you have to open it specifically one way or the other. Oh, Making mistakes. Mistakes are made. Oh, this will keep Asher safe. Not really. By the way, in Terraria, you can't just build a box like this and expect it to keep enemies from spawning inside. You have to also build walls. To do that, uh, you gotta start with a workbench. Set that down. In order to use your workbench, you need to be within a certain range. You can see when I step out of range, the options that I have for crafting goes way down. Uh, I think, despite how silly this looks, <laughs> the slimes, uh, this is gonna be it for this recording. I think I've definitely rambled your ear off enough for now. Okay, so I will talk to you later.